All right, guys. So today we're going to be testing out different dog hair removers. And just to be clear, dog hair remover meaning removing dog hair from clothing and other things, not removing the hair from the dog. Let's go inside and see if we can get this wild animal to behave long enough for a video. All right, so the first thing that we're, we have to do is collect some dog hair. As you can see, we have our dog hair donor. I have a couple pairs of socks and a couple black t-shirts that we should have no trouble getting filled with dog hair. Are you really gonna sit there and be good? Let's see if how much dog hair we can get on, the, on these socks. <laughs> oh geez. This is gonna be your favorite thing ever. <laughs> this is work time, not play time. We're working. Are you done? <laughs> okay. I feel like that's a pretty good amount of dog hair. What? It's not a toy. This is for work. You can't sleep all day today. You have to, we have to do work. No. It's for work. Behave yourself. Act like a normal human. Act like you got some sense. Be civilized. <laughs> I just realized you couldn't even see him. Now this is gonna be like a magic trick. A regular black shirt. No. No, it's not a toy. This is for work. This is, this is research. This is scientific research. You can't chew up the research. I mean, that's pretty dog hairy. Let's do the backside. Ooh. How come every time you touch me for two seconds, I'm covered in dog hair, and then now that I want the dog hair, I'm not getting that much of it? Huh, how does that work? We can play when the work is done. Don't you know the saying, work then play? Lay down. There. Did you just sigh? Is it? Is this so, are you having such a rough day? You have to do a little bit of work. You live a very difficult life. This must be exhausting for you. Okay, your part's done. Jeez. All right guys, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Hungry Root. So what is Hungry Root? Hungry Root is a weekly grocery delivery service and it's super easy to use. All you do is go to the Hungry Root website and you're gonna take a little quiz. Kind of like you're back in school, except for there's no wrong answers on this quiz. They're gonna ask you things like, how many people are you, are you trying to feed? What your goals are, if you have any. Maybe you're trying to just uh, improve your health. Maybe you're trying to lose weight. Whatever your goal is, they're also going to ask you about uh, different dietary restrictions. Maybe you're omnivore, vegetarian, vegan, whatever restrictions you have. Maybe you have some allergies. And then they're going to ask you about different tastes, you know, what kind of, what kind of foods you like, what kind of flavors you like, all that type of stuff. And then they're going to use all that information to give you a tailored list of groceries. And then they're going to ship that to you every week. And just like that, once a week, you get a box filled with personalized groceries. And if you want, before your delivery comes, you can edit it. So that way you're only getting the things that you want. But Hungry Root doesn't just send you deliveries filled with healthy groceries. They also send you easy to follow 10 minute recipes and you can follow the recipes they send or you can mix and match what they send with what you already have. Or you can just let Hungry Root choose for you. So I obviously took the quiz, put in all my stuff. Let's see what I got. Let's just... Take the easy route here. Looks like I got a couple, a couple smoothies. I'm not going to go over everything, but we'll highlight some things. So I got some, some buns, a potato, wood grilled flatbread. That sounds good. I got some salmon, chicken breast, 
Looks like I got some mozzarella and cheddar cheese. Those are nice to have. Whatever this is. Roasted red pepper homos. Never had that before. I'm actually going to try that right now. Not going to lie, that's pretty good. I'm already getting trying new stuff. So something else I forgot to mention is that you can get, you can kind of select what you want. So you can get like dinner type foods like chicken, salmon. You can get snacks, which would be like this homos. Or maybe some uh, dark chocolate salted caramel almonds. And you can also get things like desserts, which would be like chocolate, chocolate chip cookie mini chocolate donuts. So you really get just get a whole wide variety of groceries delivered uh, straight to your door and it saves you a lot of time. So it's really just that easy. Just like that, you get all your groceries, cook some dinner, and sit back and enjoy. Like for example tonight, I think I'm gonna use this, the chicken and this, and I think I'm probably gonna make some uh, some chicken quesadillas or something. So that should be pretty good. So if you're interested, the first 100 people to use my code TylerTube40 will get 40% off of your grocery order with Hungry Root. The link will be in the description, or you can just go to HungryRoot.com and use code TylerTube40. So the first thing that we're going to try is just your classic scotch uh sticky pad that I'm sure anybody who has a dog has. So we're going to go up this side of the shirt with this. I mean, that actually worked pretty good. That is, seems like in this demonstration, it's working a lot better than it usually does in real life. <laughs> That's actually, I mean, almost spotless. I think it missed like one hair right there. So that's actually, seems like it works better than it actually does in real life for whatever reason. Next, we're gonna try this thing. This is from uh, Big Bang Paws. It's one of these doohickeys where you, you pull it out you brush it, and then it's got the whole thing that you stick it in. It's supposed to be like reusable or whatever. So let's, you can only go one way. This is a little bit difficult. I mean, is it working? Technically, I guess by default. But that's not as good as the sticky pad at all. No, that's, that's doing horrible. Maybe it's full. I don't even think it's full. <laughs> There's like a very small amount of hair in the bottom. A very small amount of hair in the bottom. Really just like right there. And in here, you can see there's another like, not that much. So <laughs> I don't really know. This thing is not that great. This right here, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not that great. I don't think any uh, like dog hair remover or like lint roller that is this style, I don't think any of these are really all that great. So let's flip this bad boy over. Oh, look at that. A fresh new canvas. <laughs> so this side got covered really good. Now we have this, which is just a, it's called a pet sole. It's like a, it's like a roller that you go back and forth with, but like each time you go back and forth, it's supposed to collect the hair like inside of here or something. 
Dann haben wir eine Lös. Okay. Thank you for that. Needed some more hair. What are, <laughs> what are you doing? We already collected your hair. We already got all the hair. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to work here. Hey. Thank you. All right. You almost have to like stretch it out or something. All right. <laughs> Are you interested? Do you want your hair back? What is it that you, what is it that you want? I need to work. Can I ask you a question? How am I supposed to get this hair off if you just put more on over and over and over? How's that supposed to work? You just want to be the star of the show or what? Okay. Yep, that's all your hair. So you can see I did all this pretty much. I just didn't do this little area right here. And it's really not doing that good of a job, to be honest. It's almost as if whenever I am like rolling it back and forth, it's almost like, it's like, uh, like these wheels don't allow it to go quite low enough for the brush to actually contact the shirt. So, I mean, it's possible that maybe this isn't, maybe this is made for more like a couch or like, uh, like carpet or something. But as far as for a shirt, this like just isn't really doing it that much. So let's go ahead and crack this open. That's actually not that much. And we picked up that much dog hair. So that's, that's not really, not really that much. All right, so our next product is gonna be the Sticky Buddy. This is one of those ones that is supposed to be uh, reusable. We've seen on this channel many times. We know how, uh, how good reusable things are. So I imagine this is gonna be just as bad as everything else. Oh, look at that. It even comes with a, it's a little small one. Oh, okay, so it's got like a little, like a little sheath. What is that? Like what is rattling around in there? So we got this little plastic piece that we're supposed to peel off. Okay. It is very sticky, but I can tell you what's probably gonna happen is it's probably gonna do extremely good for about one to two passes. Pick up all the hair probably because it's super sticky. And then once the stickiness goes away, it'll probably be worthless. Well, let's see, let's go right down the middle. I mean, look at that. That was almost perfect. All the way down the middle. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting this to do pretty much a whole shirt before like the stickiness start to run out. Cause now it kinda, yeah. Now it won't even pick hardly anything up. Yeah, and the stickiness is pretty much gone. Um, I did not expect it to do almost an entire shirt before the stickiness ran out. But the fact still remains that the stickiness does run out. Because if we flip over to a fresh new canvas, you can see we get nothing. Actually, I think we picked up a little bit, but not that much. So I'm going to wash this off and we'll let it dry. And then we'll come back and we'll see if it does just as good the second time. Because usually, anytime I've tested anything that's reusable, like a reusable tape or anything, once you wash it one time, Every time after that, it gets like weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Buy my merch. 
There's a link in the description. There's t-shirts, hoodies, and hats, and they're very nice. All right, <clears throat> so while we're waiting on that to dry, we're gonna try out the Lily brush. This is just like a piece of plastic with like rubber across from it, or rubber around the edges. And this is made for like, like really hard to get do pet hair, dog hair, pet hair. That's why we're using the dog bed because it's covered in hair and this, is, this hair is like really, I guess you could say like baked in if you wanted to use uh, like an analogy. So let's see if we can, we're just gonna go right down the middle. I mean, we got that much, but it doesn't, it doesn't get everything. It does get a lot though. I would, I'm going to say within probably five or six passes, you'll probably get, what, what would you guys think? By 90% of the hair within like three or four different passes. So let's compare that to just the regular scotch bright sticky thing, since that seems to be so far what's done the best. All right, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five. And that really doesn't have any stick left. I mean, you can tell the scotch bright did not do as good of a job on this this hair that was kind of, you know, baked in or whatever. The hair that's like was on a shirt that I just got onto the shirt that hadn't had time to kind of like weave itself into the fabric or whatever. This got off really, really good. But for this really, really tough stuff, this one isn't really that good. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and try all the other ones because I don't, I'm going to go ahead and say I don't think anything is going to be as good as this that can as far as being able to like grab the hair and like pull it out of the fabric once it's been like kind of like woven in. All right, let's go. <laughs> go with this thing, which I believe is a joke. Let's get right here. Actually, you know what? That's actually And that actually looks kind of full too. For this, for this like really stuck, stuck in hair, this isn't horrible. Cause I mean, this did better than this, just the regular sticky pad cause the stickiness wore off so fast. And then let's see if, let's see, take a look and see how dirty that is. I mean, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty clean. Man, there's just, doesn't seem like there's really anything that can just pull that hair out 100%. So this does pretty good. The cleaning mechanism actually does work better than I thought. I guess whenever I was doing it just on a regular shirt, you couldn't really tell, but. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all that we got out of there. That's actually, that's actually pretty significant. Maybe this thing isn't, uh, isn't as bad as I thought, especially for a, like a reusable option. And last but not least, let's try this joke. What, you wanna help? No way that actually kind of works. Let's go over on this on this side where there's a lot of hair. Why is it? Oh, you know what? I just remembered where I said that the wheels were kind of preventing it from like really getting down on the shirt. This thing it can I can it can actually kind of like get down on. That is actually doing a really good job. What's kind of over here where it's like really really bad?
Okay, all right. This thing is actually doing better than like the other stuff. Even on this like really tough stuff. Okay, that's actually kind of blowing my mind. Let's see how much we got. Jeez. All of that. I mean, that is very significant. We still have to, we still need to try the sticky buddy on this. But so far for the like this really stuck in pet hair on like a couch or maybe like a car or something, I feel like this so far is is the best. So now that the <clears throat> sticky buddy is dry, we can, I probably should have saved a little bit of this, but we'll go here since there's all this hair right here. And I'd say we're gonna have the same result. A couple swipes, stickiness goes away, and then it's useless. Wow. Literally almost nothing. And the stickiness is already almost gone. After one wash, which is pretty much what I predicted, I mean, it's almost picking up nothing. I mean, look at this. I mean, that's pretty pathetic. The only thing that it could have going for it is it's got these like fingers that are supposed to kind of do like, like what the lily brush does. I mean, they actually work pretty decent, but you can't, you can't really pick it up because the thing's not sticky. So I'm gonna wash this for the second time and then we'll try it on the shirt. Um, and I would bet that after the third time, or after the second wash, it's probably gonna be almost completely useless. All right, I know the lighting is a little weird, but <laughs> it needs to be this way so you can see. So next we're gonna try socks. Now, obviously you can see how hairy that sock is. And for some reason, like getting dog hair out of socks seems to just be impossible. It would be almost easier to, to decipher the Da Vinci Code than to get dog hair out of socks. So we're gonna try everything on the socks. Of course, we're gonna start with this, the Scotch Bright first. So there's a little before. It's not terrible. Look at that. That's actually not bad at all. Although for some reason that doesn't seem how it ever works out in real life. Like if you pull a sock out of the drawer or you wear a sock all day and it has dog hair on it, it doesn't seem like it comes off that easy. So there's the back. That's also not too bad. That's uh, about what you would expect. This thing, just the classic uh, lint roller does pretty good. Let's go with this thing. <sighs> this thing actually takes a, quite a bit of force to get out. Come on. <sighs> Jeez. All right. There's our little before, about the same. I don't know if you can see it. I feel like I can literally see more dog hair just flying off of the sock and into the air than I do coming off onto this thing. I mean, so it's working, but I don't, I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe you can kind of see right here. It's kind of like, it's working, but as I do it, I can tell that it's like ripping up like the fabric of the sock. And it's like forming, um, I don't even know what you would call it. They're like there's little tiny like fuzz balls that you get on like after you wear, after a, a pair of socks starts to get like kind of old. And this is like, a, this is a brand new sock right out of the package. So it's kind of like tearing up the fabric. But it's getting, I mean, it's getting the hair, 
not as good as the as the sticky pad. There's the back. I mean, there was that much, and you can still see there's quite a bit. We'll go with, with the, on the other side. You can still see plenty of hair there. I mean, overall, this thing is just not all that great. And I also really don't like how it kind of like tears up the sock. That's kind of, I'm not a big fan of that. Now let's do the Lily brush. <clears throat> actually, I actually think this has a pretty good chance of doing really good. I mean, that's actually, that's actually pretty good. All the way down to this little line. It's, it's a lot better than the, uh, it's a lot better. It's a lot better than this one. That's for sure. Cause we, we got this much hair off. I think, I think this thing is, well, it's almost one of the best for getting the dog hair off and out of really, really tough places. That's pretty good, if you ask me. The back, I didn't really do that much on the back. Now, this thing, which was very impressive on the dog bed. This also, <laughs> I can see all, I can see all the hair just kind of like flying off. I mean, it works decently good on socks. The back, I didn't really do yet. That's all right, but I think, I think this thing is really, really made for like couches, carpets, maybe um, like carpet in a car, stuff like that. Not really, not really for like clothes. Now for uh, the Sticky Buddy. And this is, we're, this is after the second time washing it. And I can tell you, just from like feeling it with my thumb, it feels like it's probably one fifth as sticky as it was when I first took it out of the package. There's our before. Let's do this. <laughs> I mean. That's nothing like it was in the beginning. Because in the beginning, when I first took it out of the package, it was like one swipe, almost 100% of the hair. Now it's kind of like, if you really massage it in there and really work it back and forth. If you really work at it, you can really, you can get most of the hair. There's still a pretty decent amount of hair left over. Nothing crazy though. It's still working decently. It's just with every single wash, it becomes less and less effective. Like by the time you use this and wash it, say maybe 20 times, it's probably not even gonna be sticky anymore. So that's kind of, that's a huge downside. I also really hate whatever it is that rattles inside of there. So I don't really like this thing. And another thing that I don't like about this, in comparison to something like this, if you say, if you have, if there's two people in a house and you're both getting ready to leave the house to go somewhere and you want to get the dog hair off of you, only, and this is all you have, you would have to use it on one person and probably maybe get like, just a few little swipes before it stop, starts uh, stops being, before it stops being sticky. Wash it, let it dry, do it again. Wash it, let it dry, do it again. Whereas something like this, you can just do it, rip off a new sheet, and, and just keep going, and then you're out the door. Something like this, you have to. There's too much preparation that you have to do for something like this for how for it not being that effective in comparison to something like this. If you know what I mean. There's just if this was super amazing and was like, you know, next level or something, it, it could be worth it, but the preparation isn't worth the result for this. So I don't really like this one. Out of these, I think I like, this. I think I, I think I just like the standard uh, Scotch-Brite lint roller the best so far, except for, cause this one, I'm not really, not really a big fan of that one. The Lily brush, I think works decent for like hair that's really stuck somewhere, but it's really not that good whenever you compare it to this. So far, my two favorites, I think I, I like this for like, if you're getting ready to, 
for like clothes, shirts, pants, uh, socks even. And then I think this is the best option for um, like couches, things that where it's the hair is a little bit harder to get up. But now we're moving on to another product. So our final product is the Fur Zapper. Now these are little, uh, I think they're rubber, but I haven't confirmed that yet. Oh yeah, they're like, there's like weird silicone rubbery like discs. And you are supposed to put these in the washer and the dryer and it's supposed to pull the hair off. Uh, better than I guess just the washer or dryer itself. So we're gonna put one shirt through the washer and dryer uh, with this, one without, and we'll see what the results are. So obviously before we can put the shirts in the wash, we need to collect more dog hair. <laughs> Don't bite the shirt. <laughs> okay. All right. I think. Ugh. All right. Don't bite it. All right. <laughs> I know. This is your favorite part. I think these are both pretty dog hairy. All right. You wanna go outside? Oh! All right, let's go. So, so far, this is very disappointing. You can see, you might be able to see that this thing now, you can see some hair stuck to it out of the washer. And the only reason that there's hair stuck to this is because I accidentally dropped it on the floor before I started recording the video. As for the shirt, fr fresh out of the washer, yeah, you can see all of the hair is still there. There's slightly less hair than there was to start with, but I believe that that is purely because of the washer and probably has nothing to do with the fur zapper. So, so far it's not looking good. And now here we have the other shirt without, out of the washer, without the fur zapper. And you can see pretty much identical. So <laughs> it's looking like the fur zapper through the washing machine is doing pretty much nothing. So they are both out of the dryer now. I'm going to show you first the one that washed and dried with the fur zapper. You can tell now since it went through the dryer that probably, I don't know, 98% of the hair is gone. There's a little bit left on the sleeve, but it's actually pretty clean. The dryer seems to be what took off most of the hair. So that's front and back with the fur zapper, without the fur zapper. It's actually still just a little bit wet, but you can tell they are essentially identical. They both have probably I don't know, 98% of the hair removed. There's like, there's one hair here, one hair here. But other than that, it's pretty much it. I don't think it has any hair on the back. So, oh, maybe one hair here. So, <laughs> so it appears that the fur zapper, as far as I can tell, pretty much does next to nothing. And it's actually just the dryer that takes off all the hair whenever you wash and dry. Uh, some clothes. So I think overall we got some interesting results. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.